Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you an awesome demonstration of eddy currents with my giant neodymium magnet and a huge chunk of aluminum. So as we all know, aluminum is not ferromagnetic. If you try to stick a magnet to it, it just falls right off. So I have a magnet here with the aluminum. You can see it's not attracted to it whatsoever, but it is attracted to iron. <laughs> However, that doesn't mean that it's not affected by a magnetic field. For example, watch what happens when I swing this strong neodymium magnet at the aluminum cylinder. It's almost as though there's this force field around the aluminum. Already we can tell there's something weird going on here. This isn't like a normal opposing magnetic field stopping the magnet. What's happening here is called magnetic breaking. It happens due to eddy currents that form in the aluminum due to the changing magnetic field of the magnet approaching it. So as the magnet approaches the aluminum, there are electric currents that form in circles on both sides of the magnet. In this case, the magnetic field is in exactly the opposite direction as the magnetic field that caused it. But due to the internal resistance of the aluminum, the current eventually slows down in the eddy currents, and so the eddy currents decrease until there's no more current whatsoever. So let's see what happens when I try it with my giant neodymium magnet with over a thousand pound pull force. So I'm just gonna drop it on it. You can see that the magnet is not attracted to the aluminum, but when I drop the magnet, it opposes the drop. It's like it's landing on a cushion or something. You can even spin the magnet around as it falls. Now what's even cooler is remember that I mentioned that the reason the magnet doesn't keep getting repelled is because the eddy currents eventually slow down and stop because aluminum has its own internal resistance that stops the current from flowing. But we can reduce the resistivity of the aluminum by cooling it down with liquid nitrogen. So when I do this, it slows the fall down significantly. You can even start to pull the aluminum wherever you want it. So it's only attracted to the neodymium magnet as long as I'm moving the magnet. As soon as I stop moving it, it's not attracted anymore. You can even pick up the chunk of aluminum, but it still falls. And again, the reason it falls is because the eddy currents that were in it eventually stop. But what if we had a material that had zero resistivity, zero internal resistance? So that means the eddy currents inside of it never stopped. Well, it just so happens that I have a type two superconductor here. And superconductors have no internal resistance when you cool them down. So that means that they stay locked onto the magnet resisting any change in vertical position. And watch this. Look how cool that is. So the eddy currents inside the superconductor exactly oppose the magnet and won't let it move up or down vertically. And since it's a type 2 superconductor, it even keeps its same orientation as I move it around the magnet. That's interesting. So the magnetic breaking that I showed here that was caused from the eddy currents is used a lot in industry. That's even how they stop a lot of roller coasters too. It's kind of a soft breaking, almost like you're hitting a cushion or a fluid because it doesn't just stop you immediately, but it slows you down kind of soft. And thanks for watching another episode of the Action Lab. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet and hit the bell so you can be notified when my latest video comes out. And check out theactionlab.com to see the Action Lab experiment boxes. And thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.